know, guys. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching my channel, Ivan Altero. This is astrology, of course. New moon in the sign of Aquarius. Guess you can hear the music. Such a lovely music. Why? Because this new moon in sign of Aquarius will be like that. Like you are watching a cartoon. So what basically I am saying, you know, what this new moon in the sign of Aquarius is all about. Okay, guys. Guys, let's get started. Let me explain, you know, what is happening. So first of all, on January 24th, 2020, there is a, such a beautiful new moon in the sign of Aquarius. And guys, let me explain to all of you what is going on. First of all, who will be affected? Well, everybody, more or less. First of all, Aquarius, because this is your sign. So my dear Aquarians, you get one new moon and one full moon. New moon is always new beginning. So if you have sun in Aquarius, moon in Aquarius, rising, especially rising sun in Aquarius, cluster like many planets in the sign of Aquarius, or if you do belong in a fixed sign like Aquarius, then Scorpio, Leo and Taurus, you will most likely feel, you know, the most this, you know, new moon. Uh, in the sign of Aquarius, which will happen on fourth degree. So guys, what this uh, new moon in Aquarius is all about. Okay, so first of all, here he is moon in the sign of Aquarius, always, of course, in conjunction, in conjunction with the sun. And also there is a Mercury on 13th degree. So this is conjunction as well. Okay, so guys, let me explain to you. New moon in the sign of Aquarius is about is about new world, better world, new friend, an option is about inventing, improving, generally in a generally speaking, improving society. Because Aquarius represents not only your friends and your wishes and your desires, but also humanitarian work, taking care for people who are in a need. For people who are kind of, you know, helpless. I mean, nobody is kind of, you know, helpless. But let's say if you want to work in a humanitarian work, uh, this is excellent, you know, time to do that. So, um, try something new, generally speaking. Go out, you know, from your house and seek new club, new team, uh, new sport, uh, try something new with your friends or seek, search, find a new friends with a whom you can change the world. This is, guys, the meaning of this beautiful new moon in the sign of Aquarius. So, uh, so many people finally, from this uh, day on, so many people around the world, you know, will start thinking outside of the box. So many people will feel, you know, we must change the world, you know, for the better. So how you can do that? You don't need to do something big. This could be like a tiny detail um, and, um, uh, uh, and you know, do something differently, invent something, go out, work in humanitarian organization or simply help your neighbor. So this is like your gift to humanity. I'm not saying you must go out, organize 10 millions of people, but generally speaking, in astrology, besides Aquarius represents uh, your friends uh, and even your ex, who or she just might reappear once again. This could happen just like that. This is like what you can give completely free of charge to humanity. This is what I'm doing, you know, 100 videos on my YouTube channel every single month because this is my tribe. So Aquarius in a natal chart represents your tribe. Where is your tribe? Where is your pack? Go out and you know find your people. Find find the people who are like minded. You know people who are like minded and do something for humanity, guys. Uh, you know. People, my clients and my friends, you know, people ask me, not like now, but in the past 35 years, you know, what the heck is with Aquarius, you know, when finally Aquarius, you know, time will, you know, appear. 
People think, you know, there's like exact, you know, second or moment or date. Okay, there is more or less, but basically we as a as a humans, we as a community, we need to do, you know, something, you know, better for us, for our family, for friends and for society, generally speaking. So this new moon in the sign of Aquarius is urging you, if you want to see a change, first become a change, okay? So... So, uh, also detached from negative people, detached from people who are always talking only about negative stuff, people who are talking only about money, stay away from corrupted, you know, people, people who are so greedy because, you know, uh, there is a new time, there is a new dawn with new moon and the sun of Aquarius and guys, this is just the beginning, truthful, a big change will come from end December 2024 when Pluto will also enter the sign of um, Aquarius. So generally speaking, uh, this is basically new moon in a sign of Aquarius. So this new moon is urging you connect yourself you know, with the good people, positive people, people who are very creative. So if you want to do something, you need uh, help from a friend or maybe from a group of people. Guys, why I'm saying this? Because if you want to live in accordance or rhythm or whatever you feel like, you know, to call it with the cosmos, cosmos is saying, you know, it's time for new, it's time for better, uh, you know, community, it's time for, you know, but uh, so cosmos will help you, will nudge you, will push you basically where is your tribe and what you as a human, as one person, what basically you can do. Astrologers can do what I am doing now because this is what we can do. We are like messengers and we are giving you the message basically. We are reading, you know, divine, divine um, um, a message from planets. So this is, guys, you know, what is happening. So connect, you know, yourself with a lot of, you know, group of group, good people and a big group of people and do something free in your free time uh, for humanity. Generally speaking, on much more mundane top of a level, this new moon is urging you to step out, you know, from your house, uh, stop, you know, uh, being, you know, grumpy, saying nothing is happening. So go out, you know, find people, entertain yourself a little bit, right? Nobody's saying that this, whatever you want to do, uh, should be, you know, boring or whatever. Could be you know, something which is like fulfilling your needs, your deepest you know, needs inside of you. Guys, there are so many creative people. There are so many good people on this planet Earth. And especially now with this Pluto and the Saturn still in conjunction with the South Node. Okay, it's not conjunction, like very close. Um, South Node is on 8 degree, Jupiter on 12, Pluto 23. And, and and Saturn as well. But you see, this is like, guys, this is greedy type of you know, energy. And Cosmos is saying, if you want to live better life, then do something, invent something, you know, in your free time. And usually completely free of charge, like my work on my YouTube channel, which is completely work of, uh, completely free of charge. So this is my gift to humanity. Believe me, guys, this is exactly, you know, what it is. So what you can do in your free time. Okay, so new way of thinking. And maybe this is you, creator. Maybe this is you, like a leader. Or maybe you will join a people who know what, uh, what basically uh, should be done. Uh, so many people will go on internet. So many people will buy new gadgets. So many people will connect throughout the internet, uh, you know, with, with like a big you know, group of people and you will start learning. Aquarius is also about learning. Before you can do that, inquire yourself, you know, what is like appealing, you know, to you, where you see yourself, where is your pack, where is your tribe? This is my tribe, astrology and tarot, this is my tribe. I know I belong here. So guys, ask, ask, ask yourself, where you belong, you know, what you can do. So I mentioned, guys, you know, for some of you, this could be your ex calling you, phoning you, sending you a text message, and especially now while 
um, uh, Mars is uh, in conjunction with asteroid Cupid in such a tense, in such a tense relationship square with Venus, you know, so, you know, someone desire you and where you can find, you know, the one for you, well, in the group of people, new group of people, guys, if you're single, go out, you know, mingle, you know, and this is the place where you will find this person. And if you guys, you know, attached, if you're attached, this Venus in conjunction with uh, Neptune and Lilith, this is very, very uh, powerful, you know, Venus, and this is woman, you know, completely over heels, you know, in love, you know, with someone, but I strongly recommend to you, move, you know, pink glasses from your nose and see this Mars in the sign of, you know, Sagittarius, because, you know, he's exploring, you know, possibilities, you know, but you as a woman, as a woman, you know, as, as a Venus, uh, you know, be careful because, you know, um, Mars in the sign of uh, uh, Sagittarius is like, you know, kind of, you know, not very, you know, committed. So if you're a woman, but also if you're a man, you know, um, somebody maybe want to commit, maybe you do not want to commit, kind of saying, you know, wait until spring when energies and, you know, planets will be in a much more better position when Mars move to um, Capricorn and finally when Venus move to Aries. Okay, so uh, generally speaking, people need more free time to do whatever you want to do. People are exhausted of working 8 hours, 10 hours, 12 hours or even more. So guys, let me repeat once again. If you want to see a better society, if you want to see a change, become a change first inside of you and in your life, okay? Um, so many of you will meet a future um, partner on internet, like many, 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 many of you. Now, let me guys mention, okay, um, sun and moon, they will be in a square with Uranus in the sign of Taurus. What that means? It means that all time, you know, slowly but surely, they are going away. All, you know, all things. Uh, Saturn, Pluto in the sign of Capricorn, all way, the way how we earn for our living. Guys, so many new working place, which I even do not know because there are no names for new type of, you know, work. They are building now, between now and um, uh, and December 2024. So guys, you know, be ready. Everything depends on technology and internet because simply we are in this phase of uh, civilization. So um, Saturn is in conjunction with the Pluto. Something is tearing apart, depends in a natal chart where you have Capricorn and this conjunction between Saturn and Pluto. Call me, book a private reading guys and I will see in a natal chart what is basically happening for you. But generally speaking, find value of group of people, you know, could be for friendship, could be for creativity, could be for love. If you're single in a group of people, you will find a new love and quite very soon. So find value in a big, you know, uh, in a big group of people where you feel that you truthfully do belong. Uh, Mercury is in a sex style with Mars, Mercury and Mars, they are sex styling uh, one another. And what that means, it means this is you fighting for a cause. You have a cause of some kind on your mind. Can you see this beautiful sex style? So this is not you fighting in vain. Soon, in two months, a uh, result will come. Okay? Uh, Venus, I already mentioned that Venus and Mars will be squaring one another, which is excellent. Square between Venus and Mars is so much more better than Venus and Mars being in conjunction. Venus and Mars in conjunction, they talk about fighting, but Venus and Mars in square, they are kind of, you know, trying to beat one another, but in a positive, positive way. This is also sexual tension between men and women. Do you like me? How much you like me? I like you, you know, you can positive, you know, sexual, you know, tense tension between uh, feminine and masculine um, principle, principle or whatever. Okay, never mind. Uh, okay, what else? What else? What else? Ah, Jupiter. 
Jupiter will be in a trion with Uranus. What it means? It means uh, that you will start learning or teaching astrology. Depends how skilled and old you are. This is teacher or astrology. So many people will contact astrologers because of ambitious plan when it comes to your career. This also could be like a good teacher, spiritual teacher, but most likely astrologer. And also, guys, you know, sun uh, will be in a sex style with ascendant. What that means? This is you improving yourself. And this is also aspect of enlightenment. You know, all of a sudden, you will be enlightened. You know, you will simply know. This is like, uh, you know, um, this is like a specific moment when you will feel... <gasps> No, I, now I know. I know exactly what I must do. I know exactly where I belong. I know exactly who I am. I know exactly... This is like big, you know, aha moment. From that moment, everything will be changed and so much more better in your life. So, guys, all kinds of even weird type of you know, connection between, between two people or group of people and you now are possible... Go out, explore this beautiful planet, explore this beautiful world. Guys, there are, there are uh, so many possibilities, you know, where you can be, what you can do, how you can earn money, lesser, uh, le working less and earning more. So more or less, guys, I think I mentioned everything. And uh, this is about freedom, you know, freedom. I want to be free. I want to do... Uh, like, you know, job that I like to do. But guys, nobody will give you that. You still must fight for that. You still must be very, you know, diligent, okay? You must be diligent. And if you do that, if you do that, you will find a perfect uh, job or friendship or any kind of, you know, creative, you know, group of people. And you will be happy, guys. You will feel happiness inside of you saying... Oh my, this is like the biggest gift, you know, for me, finding where I truthfully do belong. And this is new moon in the sign of Aquarius for all of us. Guys, put your comments, you know, book a private reading. Share this video with all of your friends. Please, guys, do that. And God bless you all. That's it. Bye.